So um, <clears throat> this is the um, original 440 um, resistor board. Uh, this is what uh, basically controls your um, your logo LEDs and your IO LEDs. Um, now the resistors only eventually burn out or fail, making your LEDs go really dim or just not work at all. Um, so what I've done is I've just redesigned this and also improved it. Um, and this is what I've done it with. Um, this is the board itself. To get a better look at that. Okay, so um, what I've done is I've added bigger resistors. These um, are massively overkill um, for the LEDs, which means that they run nice and cool. Um, I have actually designed the board to... Um, it actually acts as an heat sink itself um, for the resistors. So uh, basically this is a direct replacement. Um, this is what you'll originally have. Obviously uh, I've had to take this to bits and um, but that's just to, to design a new one. But um, basically what you do is just take this, uh, unscrew this out and put this in its place, screw this one in and just clip it in so anybody can um, replace this. Uh, the idea being is um, this little switch here turns on and off your logo. Um, and the switch on the back of your computer turns on and off the IO LEDs. That makes more sense to me as obviously when you want to plug something in onto the back of your computer, you can push that button, the IO lights light up. Once you're finished, turn them back on off again. Yeah, and this being, you either want your logo to light up or not. Um, I've tested this, this all works um, all perfectly well, however, um, now on the original, you can see here, they've la labelled here, logo, SW and IO, it's just scraped off a little bit there, um, logo obviously is the logo, uh, the middle SW is the switch on the back of your computer that turns both of these on and off. Now, unfortunately, they've got these the wrong way round. Um, hopefully, this is just my computer. But basically, now is when I turn this logo on and off, it actually turns the I/O LEDs off, not the logo. Um, I've been checking around, and either on my on my tower tower, they've just got the uh, wires the wrong way round. Um, or they have, or um, this is another um, error on all the 440s that were made. Um, that's not surprising considering the size of resistors they used on this were way too small and um, was just not up to the job. Um, and anybody with basic electronics would know that those LEDs, those uh, resistors were just not gonna, they were just not gonna work. Um, so, just let it zoom back in. Um, so, it doesn't surprise me, it seems they've messed up the resistors, that they've probably messed up the labelling as well. Um, so, I've designed this. So, basically, this logo there is actually meant to be the I.O. Once my camera zooms in. And the I.O. is meant to be the logo. Um, so, if there's anyone out there that can... Um, Either just check theirs for me. I just need to know whether this is a problem um, or whether this is just, just my 440 tower or every 440 tower. Because you can see the board in there. Uh, it just screws straight in. I uh, apologise about the bad lighting. And you basically plug that one in there. And this cable plugs into there. They'll only go one way. And there we go. Uh, to turn your logo on and off, you just turn that on one side. That's off. And that's on. Um, and the switch at the back here turns these bottom lights on and off. As you can see, the camera's not picking it up very well. There we go. However, this button is meant to be turning these LEDs on and off, but it's not. Um, it's turning 
the um, logo on and off. And this logo switch here is actually turning the I.O. on and off because they're the wrong way around. Um, now we can get away with this by just replacing these wires here, swapping them around. Um, so I'm just going to do that now to fix the fix that problem. So you can see that I've taken two of the um, cables out of the connector. This is the I.O. cable, it goes to the I.O. LEDs and that's the, um, the logo LED cable. I'm going to switch these around, swap them around now on this. And, um, I've just swapped them around, just pl plugged it back in. Um, now when I turn this, push this button, these LEDs should light up. And there we go. So that confirms that, um, at least on my 440, um, in the factory these cables were originally the wrong way round. Um, so yeah, now that works as it should. And this logo switch turns on and off a logo, which I'm just going to go on the other side. And, and there we go. So, now, how has this happened? Well, on the original board here, you can see they've actually marked it logo and I.O. Um, me presuming that that is correct, I've just literally copied, I've just trusted that when I should really have double checked. Um, in actual fact, the logo is actual, actually the I.O. and the I.O. is the logo. So obviously to swap that around you just swap the cables around. However, I can't expect everyone to be able to um, take these little cables out and swap them around. Um, so if anyone out there can um, just confirm that theirs is also the wrong way around, that will then, if everyone is the wrong way around, then I can just redesign this uh, swap it around in the files um, or if this is just my 440 then um, the files are okay and it needs to be changed um, but that all works the resistors don't even get hot anymore because they are high rated wattage ones um, so they're not even getting hot um, and I think that's much better to have your logo on and off switch inside there because you either want your logo on or you want it off. I just leave mine on, put the side panel on, and then obviously when you want to plug anything in here, you can just push that button and then turn it off when you're finished because you don't always want your IO LEDs on anyway. They're not even the same colour as they match the build. Um, so that is basically it. Um, I do apologise about the bad um, lighting. Um, so there we go. Got that. I just want to quickly explain this. Um, this is another redesign, but this is the power board. Um, you're on and off switch. Now you're probably wondering why do I need um, a new on and off panel? Well, the original ones, um, I think the power button lights up white, if I remember rightly. Now, not everybody wants white, people want blue, people want orange, people want red, um, just to match your um, your 440. Um, my design being red. The theme's red, so I want my power button to light up red. Um, now, when the hard drive is activated, you can see it flashes blue. Um, so I basically designed this board. It's a direct replacement. Um, However, the original cable will have to be desoldered and you'll have to put it into this and then solder it back up. Um, basic soldering skills are what's needed um, in order to do that. Um, so I'm just going to get the top off this and show you inside. I'll have to just excuse the mess. Um, okay. There you can see the board. Uh, the LEDs are freaking my camera, are you? But you can sort of see what's going on. Um, now, we can also change these LEDs to match whatever colour scheme uh, your computer 
um, is. Uh, so these connections here, uh, these are basically for these lead strips. Um, I'm going to put a connector on the end of there and it's going to go into there. And we've got one this side to go to the front of the case. Um, just get the front of the case off. Okay, so there we go. We've got one for the front, goes into there, and eventually it's going to go across there into this. The top just clean the floor. It's going to go straight into there. Um, and then we've got two here, uh, one for this one and just a spare one. Now you're probably thinking, where do we plug the power into this? Well, it's actually underneath it. And um, this is the top of the board. Um, and underneath is another connector there. And this basically plugs into a Molex connector onto your um, power supply, which feeds 12 volts. And all it does is it's just feeding 12 volts straight through to these. And you just connect your cables up, clip them straight in. Um, so just give you a better look at that. So yeah, all you'd need, you know, it'd require you to do to fit this is you would have to desolder your original. Um, I don't know where my original one is at the minute. In fact, if I just have a look at it. Um, again, I have had to destroy my original one in order to design this one, just to, to figure out the design that they used. But um. Basically, this is the original one, as you can see there. Um, and, this, and what you have to do is desolder all the wires. It's actually a plug. Uh, and then take the cable out. And then you put your, that cable into this one and just solder it back up. And that's all you need to do. If anybody struggles to do that, you could send me your original and I would be more than happy to solder it up with you obviously it would in the you'd have to take your original one out with your cable that runs underneath there and i'd be able to solder that up for you um because unfortunately the cables um they're quite a long length and i can't seem to find them uh, online so obviously i can't sell it as a whole whole unit um so yeah that's my 440 um custom PCB boards. Um, so there we go. Uh, I am actually um, going to um, the the spare one of these is actually going to go to another lead strip, and that lead strip is going to go inside of here, so it lights the inside of these ports up. Just clip that down. I was actually going to um, give like a a, um, a red glow through these holes and um, that's something else that can also be added I'm going to put that cable through there because obviously this is cutting that I'm going to put it through there then go through and plug into that one but yeah um, we can do these any two two colours whichever colours you like just to match your your computer um, so yep, yeah, just let me know if anybody's interested.